just can't find any anywhere. I guess I'm just all out of f**ks to give. Getting a really late start today. It is 7:20 in the evening. I'm hoping to catch the evening bite, uh, but I still should have been out there already. Um, so it's 7:20 now. The sun's gonna go down about nine. So I've got less than two hours to get to the spot and to catch a fish. So it's another rush hour fishing challenge video. I've got several of those. I've got a whole playlist of rush hour fishing videos. So that's what I'm doing today. I am going to a spot that I have not been to in probably like two or three years. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like there. I don't even know what time they close. It might be closed already, but they should be on summer hours where they're open a little bit later. But yeah, um, so that's the deal. Um, so let's go ahead and get out there. Got the skinny Senko over here. This one I can cast it a lot farther. Oh man, I was bringing in the slack and had a bite while I, when there was too much slack in it. Once again, probably a sunfish, but had something pick it up for a second there. Something's got it right now. Got him. <laughs> he might have had it for a little bit too long now. Let's hope he didn't swallow it. A little bitty bass. Okay. There we go. Well, challenge, I guess, complete. Caught a bass. Before my time ran out. Six-inch bass, just like my tournament the other day. I'm not gonna drop him on this side because the water's real shallow right there, but I'm, I'll drop him over here. He'll be all right. It's deeper over here. There we go. Challenge complete. Now let's see if I can get a bigger one. There's two right there. Two decent bass right there. Three. This bait is not, I'm not feeling it. Put on a finesse worm and I'm just not feeling it at all. Gotta stick with what I'm comfortable with. Of course, they're gone now. Maybe I'll come back because I know there's two in this area. There's one chilling under the tree right there. Trying to figure out how to walk up to it so I can cast without spooking it. Okay, these fish are real finicky. Probably heavily pressured. And yeah, spooked away easily. Sometimes I think about the most random things out here. Like for some reason I just started thinking about uh, hermit crabs. Well, there's a snail here, a snail shell. and. I was thinking like snails, their shells grow with them, but with hermit crabs, like at least I've always been told that, you know, they're, they leave their shell as they grow and move into a bigger one. So what I'm wondering is if, if they move into bigger shells and they leave smaller shells, where do the bigger shells, where do the shells come from in general if they're not born with the shells and they're not growing with the shells? So where are those shells coming from? With snails, they're, you know, they grow with them. But hermit crabs, where do the, where do the shells come from? Glad I came back this way and forgot my drink. Some big 
big deer around here, deer tracks. All of this is like algae and moss on the side and it's coming up over the trail. And you see like it, everything's like washed over on this side. So the floodwaters came up pretty high over here. I mean, not necessarily floodwaters. I mean, with all the rain, the water probably just pooled up right there, but still, I don't think it would technically be the creek because there's a lot of land that goes up over here. So, I don't know. A lot of fish here, a lot of sunfish, a lot of carp. There's shad or baby carp or something that are just swirling in circles. And I'm, I'm seeing some bass, not a lot, but some. Just not getting any bites. This, this is why the fish do so well here. Because that doesn't mean no fishing. It means don't eat the fish. So, I mean, there's contaminated water, so don't eat the fish from here. So, the fishing is catch and release only, pretty much. So there's a nice not quite healthy population. Oh, there's a hit. Come on. Got him. It's a nice one. Ho oh. ho. Oh, he, only, he slipped off right at the end, but I got him. Ugh. Ugh. Well, nice compared to the last one. Probably about three quarters of a pound, 12 inches long. Wasn't actually expecting to pull one this big right here because this, this is probably the big, the most pressured part of this whole park. There we go. I was trying to let him go and he bit my thumb so he didn't go anywhere. I really thought I was going to pull a sunfish out of right there when I got that last tap. I wasn't expecting a bass. And that was a nice chunky one too. He wasn't very long but he was fat. Oh! Oh, I just had a big one swirl on it right there. I don't know if the camera saw that. Probably not. It's getting dark. Like I can see plenty, like it's visibility's fine, but on the camera everything looks so dark. There we go. Oh, not as nice, but it's a good one. Well, not really a good one, but hit it pretty hard. Ah, come on, get out of there. He doesn't want to come off. He's hooked good. The other one came off at the bank. This one doesn't want to come off at all. There we go. All right, dude. So there you go. I uh, I really didn't cover that much ground, but uh, I was able to catch three fish before it got pitch black, and <laughs> dark. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera even picked up the last two because they were. It was already getting dark, but I didn't go very far. I parked here. I walked down to the, the, the water right there, that first bridge. I caught one. Uh, I explored some of the creek there, went down to the next bridge, uh, to the next park at that entrance, and right off the road there at that bridge, I, it's like a low water crossing. I caught two of them and had a couple more bites. So nothing I caught was big at all, but there are big fish in there. I can just, I can just tell like they're, there was a couple I saw that were up around, probably around two, two to three pounds. Uh, so uh, this park has a good population and there's some decent sized ones in there. I didn't find any today, but I mean, I didn't really put the time into it or the work into it today. Now, the water is contaminated, so make sure you bring hand sanitizer and stuff. And uh, you know, you don't eat anything out of here. But other than that, you're good. And the fish seem to be healthy like that, that biggest one I caught today looked really nice it was probably a pound or almost a pound for being 10 inches or so 
10 to 12 inches. So there we go. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.